Hello guys, this video I would like to say about the basic wiring for FPV drones. It's just a basic so I will include in I will include only the basic components which are the camera, the flight controller, the models. In this case we have four models for because we normally use uh, four models for a quadcopter and the four ESC which is electronic speed controller for one for each model and in the center is the PDB which is power distribution board it is used to transmitting the power to the components in the in the drone and then these component for ESC and a PDB it can be replaced by a four in one ESC so it is easier just one unit and other common equipment are the video transmitter in short we call it vtx and receiver which are we in short we call it rx and we just know by it by heart that a receiver is receiving controlling signal from from your radio transmitter and then in order to know how to uh, wind up so you need to read the product manual in order to know how many voltages is each component can take. So sometimes the manual is on the package itself. In this case, is a receiver XM Plus package. It is called in the diagram here that the 5 volt pad is here and the ground pad is here. So plus 5V means uh, plus mean input power and 5V is uh, the, the voltage current it can take in this case it's 5 volt on it it is that or it is that in uh, the specification in this case voltage range 3.7 to 10 volt but uh, since this path say that it can take 5 volt you you should use the one that is more restrictive and sometimes the manual is on the circuit board itself. In this case, it says 7 volt to 26 volt, not more or less than that. And then sometimes there's no manual at all. You need to find it on the internet, download it up using the word manual or wiring diagram to search for the product manual or the product wiring diagram. And most of the time, there's a link for you to download the, the manual onto your computer and sometimes it, it is a video, sometimes it is a website that explain how to, uh, how to use the equipment. So let's say that we know it equipment takes how many voltage for this controller is 5 volt. For this model, it says 224S. S means the number of cell of the battery. So, a battery, a one cell in a LiPo battery, it can, it can uh, charge the maximum voltage is, is 4.2 volt in a cell of a battery. So, 4S means 4 cell. So you times 4.2 by to the 4 and you get 16.8 volt for 4 cell battery. And uh, the ESC can take up to 5S, the PDB can take up to 5S, and the VTX can take up to 6S power, and RS can take only 5 volt. So after you know that uh, what kind of voltage you are equipment can take you know how many cells of battery you should use so the the equipment that is restrictive in terms of what uh, how many cells a lipo battery should you use is the pdb the escs and the motors the rest of the equipment which are the video transmitter the receiver the flight controller the camera Normally, they use uh, power through PDB regulators. In this case, is the 5 volt pad here, 12 volt pad here, for example. So this component is not a restrictive criteria for choosing a uh, lipo battery. And first, you need to wire, you need to know how to wire the plus and minus wire. So 
how how the power distribution on your drone will look like so firstly this pad here is connected to the battery red for plus pad black for minus pad that is the norm we, we use red for power input and black for the ground pad so and for each ESC you just find the plus pad on each corner basically uh, normally it is there on the corner so uh, just wire it just wire a cable between plus pad on the PDB to the plus pad on the ESC and the minus pad on a PDB to the minus pad on the ESC and same thing apply to 4 ESC and the model wise is it is easy no plus or minus pad it's just one pad for one wire and for a flight controller uh, since it takes only 5 volts so you just wire it up to the 5 volt pad on the PDB and do not forget to link your ground wire too the receiver also but receiver and camera it can take power from the flight controller so you just find a 5 volt and ground wire uh, 5 volt and ground pad on the flight controller and link it up to the 5 volt input and the ground pad on the receiver same thing apply to the camera and for VTX since it can take up to 26 volt some flight controller is not appropriate for powered a video transmitter so be careful normally we power a video transmitter from the PDB or directly from the battery pad itself so since it can take up to 26 volt you can wire the power input from the battery pad here next thing is the data wise uh, after you finish figure it out the red and black wires next is the data wire which is basically the wire that transmit data between equipments for first about the ESC you need an ESC signal wire for each ESC it, and it's to say uh, with a letter S or a symbol of the signal like here and then uh, just wire it up to an S pad on the PDB. Since it has, since we have four ESC for four model, there are four S pad, and it is stated by S1, S2, S3, S4 on the PDB, or sometimes it is called M1 to M4 on the PDB. And there are two sets of S1 to S4. So the S1, S2, S4, S3 and S4 here on each corner is for linked with the ESCs. But this set of S1 to S4 it is for linked with uh, flight controller. So this pad is receive is for receiving data from flight controller and this pad in each corner is for transmitting those data to each ESC and that is it but if you want more from an ESC you can use a ground wire it is a ground wire for the signal wire which uh, if you link it up to a ground pad on a PDB it can reduce the electrical noise on the system uh, but if you don't have any issue with the noise you may not need to link it up so next thing is the telemetry wire uh, telemetry wire is for transmitting the p working performance from an equipment to to, to you uh, it will show the data uh, via on screen display or on your radio transmitter directly so uh, you just find the telemetry pad on an ESC on the ESC and then link it up onto the telemetry pad on sometimes on the PDB sometimes on the flight controller it depends and then how to wire the 
that are wired on the flight controller. Since there are many pads on the flight controller, you need to uh, look closely on the manual in order to wire it up correctly. So, firstly, we let's see how to wire a flight controller to a PDB. So, beside from the black and red wire for the power distribution, the next thing you need is the ESC signal wire. So you just link the S1 to S4 pad on the PDB to the S1 and S2 S4 pad on the flight controller. And that is it. That is what necessary to make the, the system work. But if you want more, uh, there is another wire that is uh, that's, that might important for your fly experience, which is the current wire. It is used for measuring the battery voltage and it is shown on your OSD how many battery voltage left on your quadcopter. Sometimes it is uh, it used the, the letter C U R R, which is stand for the current on the PDB, but on the flight controller it is called C R T. But it, but it is the current too, so you just need to uh, use your common sense here. So just wire it up, and that's it. And sometimes if your flight controller can take more voltage, like 6S battery, you can wire the power uh, distribution plus and minus wire from, directly from your battery uh, plus and minus pad. In case you want to link between flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC, normally we link it up via uh, this type of cable, but you just need to be careful that the, the, the order of the wire is the same both, uh, both in the flight controller and in the 4-in-1 ESC is the same order. So just check it before you plug it in. Sometimes you need you need to swap between each pair of wire in order to make it work because sometimes the the ESC the four in one ESC is not the same brand with the flight controller and the diagram of the of the connectors here is different. So next thing is to uh, if you use four in one ESC, you just uh, solder the model wires onto is three connecting paths here. It it gonna be it's gonna be look like this. Next thing, how to wire flight controller to a receiver. Normally, a receiver beside from the red and black wire, you need a signal wire to transmit data from receiver to the flight controller. And this wire, we usually call it S bus wire. So you just find a uh, S bus pad on the flight controller and solder a wire a cable to the signal pad on the receiver and that is it. And uh, S bus is a new R channel that flight controller uh, specifically assigned it for S bus signal. And don't forget to look on to the manual because it, the letter here, the letters here is so tiny. Uh, but for some kind of receiver, it is special and it needs uh, two additional wire uh, more for controlling, for transmitting the data. It uh, because sometimes because this type of receiver it transmitting data and receiving data too. So it needs two wire, one wire for transmitting, another wire for receiving data. So it's gonna be four wire, four cables here, black, red, and you got to, and most of the time it used a UR channel and UR channel to link it up. And UR channel has transmitting pad and receiving pad. We call it TX1, RX1 for UR1, and TX3, RX3 for UR3. So you can choose either one of a UR channel. In this case, for example, we use uh, UR1 
So you just we use TX one pad and RX one pad. So you just solder it up to the pad according to the receiver manual. Normally, uh, TX pad on one side will link to an RX pad on the another side, and the same apply with the RX pad on one side will link to a TX pad on another side here. So next thing how to wire the camera. It is easy because the camera just need another video wire for sending video data to the flight controller. So you just one is just one additional wire here. But in the past we usually used VSEN wire from the camera which is stand for voltage sensor. Uh, it's it is it works as a, a sensor to your battery voltage and it and it will uh, display on your on screen display of the camera. Yes, some camera has its own on screen display, but nowadays most flight controller has its own on screen display, and this wire is not necessary anymore. The VSEN wire for the the OSD uh, pad here. It is used for controlling the camera setting via a dedicated, a separate joystick which normally comes with the camera in the package. So, but nowadays, again, also don't forget to see the manual here. So this pad is the video in. So you use video out pad of the camera connect to the video in on the flight controller side and this uh, and the, the the letter here is in 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 the order of this uh, soldering pad V bad is on top and 12 volt is on the uh, not 12 volt dual 6 tx is on the bottom here and uh, where are we oh yes yeah, some Flight controller nowadays it has a camera control pad, which if you link it up with the OSD pad on the camera, you can control camera setting via your radio transmitter through the OSD. It's easier. Next thing, how to wire the flight controller to the VTX. Uh, normally, we use only one additional wire which, which is video wire. This wire is normally linked from video out pad from the flight controller side to the video in pad on the VTX side. And that is it. That is necessary for our VTX to work. But nowadays uh, we, we use a smart audio cable too in order to uh, change the video transmitter setting without pressing any button on the video transmitter itself. We, if you use smart audio, uh, you can change uh, the power, the channel, the band on your video transmitter without uh, reaching the button on the equipment itself. So, smart audio, smart audio cable normally use a URTX pad to work. So just solder the URTX pad here to the smart audio pad on the video transmitter. And just for your information, some flight controller has two type of uh, cables, uh, connection type. For this example, these are the soldering type pad and these are the connector type. You can use either uh, either one of them because it works the same in the same order and this is just for uh, to clear to make it clear in the manual it say that smart audio it clearly state that this why this pad is the smart audio but on the back of the product it say data but it's the same pad okay sometimes it's just called differently so that is all for the basic wiring. So thank you for watching and if there is any mistake, please accept my apologize and give some suggestions on the comment section of this video. 
and if you would like to support me you can do it by uh, shopping through affiliate link in the video description and you can and follow me in the Facebook via Fight FPV Facebook page. So thank you again and see you next time. Bye bye.